Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. I hope that some of you guys were able to catch the in-service today, the webinar through MedWrench. That was a pretty good time, man. Unfortunately, we ran really short on time. It is what it is, man. Uh, the more panelists we have, uh, the more everybody likes to tell their side of the story, which is what you're all here for anyway, right? So anyway, uh, I, I would just going back over some of the questions that, that were asked, and uh, I had a viewer that wrote me and said, what type of YouTube channels do I watch? That's kind of a good one because, believe it or not, I, I, I don't watch very much TV. I actually watch a lot more YouTube. It's so crazy. Um, but, yeah, I do have. Uh, you guys know Jason from the Dental Equipment Repair Channel. That was very cool to sit down with him and, and talk with him about his videos because he's got some really cool stuff. And uh, Eddie from the DIY Eddie channel. His stuff is pretty cool. Uh, he's got some older content on there. I know he's going to be producing some new stuff, so if you guys go... And subscribe to his channel he'll have some new stuff coming out very soon um, also there's one called biomedical and equipment engineering and this was a channel I, I tried to get him on the um, the call in today and he just he went on vacation you know priorities <laughs> so anyway biomedical and electronics engineering is the name of the channel and it's actually really good um, I like a lot of his explanations and he does a pretty good job so the next channel uh, that I watch is Hasib Electronics. Guys, I'm telling you right now, Hasib Electronics. I'll leave the link to all these channels down below. He goes into so much detail explaining the fault and explaining the theory behind what's going in to the component that he's got in his hands. It's a fantastic channel, although it's not necessarily medical based. It is electronics based. But man, if you guys want to learn about like power supplies or like how electrical failures happen, this is the guy to go and watch, man. So Hasib Electronics, go and, and check him out, man. Uh, he is from the Middle East someplace, I believe. But uh, man, he has probably, uh, probably one of the best electronics channels I've seen. And I watch so much of his stuff, <laughs> for sure. So... Um, the next one would be Mr. Biomedical. He comes out of India. And the interesting thing about watching electronics repairs from other countries and from around the world is to watch electrical codes and stuff like that. You know, everybody has a different way of doing things. It's not always the safest thing, but you have to remember logistics. You have to remember budget. There's a lot of factors into just getting that piece of equipment back up and going. And these guys are living it and they're documenting it on the daily. So Mr. Biomedical, Hasib Electronics, more power to you guys, man. I watch you guys' stuff every single time you post. And Hasib posts almost daily, it seems like, every every couple days. Uh, Mr. Biomedical, he posts uh, about once a week, I think. Maybe once every two weeks. Uh, Mr. Biomedical, if you watch this, I hope you produce more content because you got some cool stuff out there. And we all like to see a glimpse of what's going on on that side of the world. So, Mr. Biomedical, I watch your stuff. Every single one. <laughs> so... Outside of the medical and electronics realm, there's the engineering mindset. I watch that one quite often. Obviously, there's Lewis Rossman. Uh, I used to watch a lot of his stuff all the time and uh, all his board repairs. I really wanted to understand the dynamic between uh, micro device uh, architecture. And he explains a lot of it in a lot of his, especially earlier videos. So, um, Lewis Rossman's channel, you go back through his channel. I think he's got like 600 and some videos, just like I've got like 270 some videos on my channel. So if you guys think that this is it, I get a lot of people asking me questions about, Hey, have you ever thought about doing this? Or you ever thought about doing that? Go to my channel and there's a search box up at the top. Just search or just scroll, just scroll through them. <laughs> I think I'm being pretty, pretty, uh, good on the descriptions. So I think I'm 270, 280, something like that videos. So um, please go through all the ones down below um, because I probably already covered some of it. Uh, I also watch AVE or Arduino versus Evil. I would not say that it is necessarily a safe for work channel. It is engineering mindset, but it is run by a Canadian. <laughs> and Canadians will say the darndest things. <laughs> So don't listen to it on uh, audio in, in your workplace. Uh, if anything, listen to it with headset. Arduino versus Evil, especially his older videos, especially his older videos, 
they're way better. He goes into tool teardowns and stuff, really talks about the manufacturing process and how things work. Uh, his later videos lately are just like ramblings, but his earlier videos were really good. Um, so AVE Arduino versus Evil is the name of the channel. Go check it out. The guy is hilarious. If you want to watch some, some darn Canadian stuff, that's your channel, okay? Uh, one of my favorite channels out there, completely, is Project Farm. <laughs> the thought that goes into his videos, the layers of thought that go into his videos is just amazing to me. And I keep, I keep hoping and wishing maybe one day I would get so self-sufficient or maybe I can get out of working at a hospital so I have more time to sit there and, and invest into these videos because I have so much stuff that I want to cover for you guys. And uh, Project Farm is like the perfect example of what happens when you give a creator the time and space to create. And I know it took him years to get to where he's at, but Project Farm, if you ever watch this, uh, man, I, I watch your stuff all the time. Every Sunday it comes out. I know because when I'm editing my footage to release the video, that's when his comes out and it ruins my train of thought. It ruins my train of thought because I have to watch his, you know, the hell with my video. I'm going to go watch his, uh, which happens, which is why a lot of my videos that come out on Sunday nights are in the middle of the night because I got to watch, you know, this 20 or 30 minute long project farm video. So, um, for simple relaxation, uh, I, I like kicking it back and, and going vintage with LGR. That's Lazy Game Review. And I, I don't have time to video game. I love video games. I love the soul of video games. But I just don't have the time to do it. You know, between this, between my family, uh, between my work, my career, you know, I just don't have time to do it. So uh, I've got a crazy uh, gaming computer, just insane. And I, you know, I use it for editing videos at best. <laughs> So that, but I do love computers. Computers is my first love when it comes to electronics. And so I watch a lot of the Gamers Nexus because I, I love keeping up on technology and I love the detail that Gamers Nexus goes into uh, CPU architecture and stuff. Awesome, awesome channel. If you want to get into some nerdy details, Gamers Nexus. Jay's two cents just because sometimes I want to see an honest review on something that is gonna probably be a little stupid. <laughs> I love Jay's Two Cents, man. I, I love because it's a very realistic channel. You know, it's not all, all polished and it, it's wonderful. Uh, Linus Tech Tips, of course. I've, I've obviously been following him for years and years, like way back when he only had, like, I don't know, a few hundred uh, thousand subscribers, which is years ago. Um, but Linus Tech Tips is such an awesome channel. I mean, that is proof of, of taking an idea, running it into a full-fledged channel, and then hiring on your friends and um, creating a community. I would love to do that for medical medical technology. Um, but anyway, Linus Tech Tips, in a way, he doesn't know this, but he's a role model uh, just because of his business sense. I dig that channel. Um, anyway, guys, that is a rough rundown through some of the channels I watch. I know this is a little bit of a ramble, but guys, uh, check out Jason's uh, dental equipment repair channel, uh, Eddie and his DIY Eddie channel, and also uh, Biomedical and Electronics Engineering, Mr. Biomedical. Those are the medical channels. There are not many of us out there. That's why I keep encouraging you guys, please, please start uh, creating content because uh, there's not enough of us that do it. And everybody has a story. Everybody has something to share. And... Uh, when in doubt, if you want to just learn something, Hasib Electronics. Link in the description below. The guy is awesome. He's absolutely a genius when it comes to electronics. I love watching his stuff because it's one thing to know your material. It's a whole other thing to be able to teach it so well. So guys, thanks for watching this video. I know it's a little bit of a ramble, but these are the channels that I watch all the time because I really don't watch TV, hardly ever. I would rather watch some of this content any day uh, to see if I can be a little bit better at what I do. Is what it is. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.